Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Home to sun-kissed beaches, swaying palms, sculpted coral reefs, luxury resorts, and thrilling water sports. The tropical paradise called Maldives is a string of beautiful islands. In this video, we will take you through the itinerary of the trip, cost split of entire tour in Maldives, the COVID mandatory rules, as well as top 5 budget friendly resorts. So let's start this video to this dream tourist destination. The peak season to visit Maldives is November to April. The international airport in Maldives is Male Airport, from where transports to all resorts are easily available. All nationalities have visa on arrival facility. The currency of Maldives is Maldivian Rupia. However, US dollars is widely used everywhere. You can either exchange currency notes in the airport itself, or if you have an international debit card, then can withdraw Maldivian currency from ATM or also swipe your debit or credit cards. Now talking about accommodation. There are various accommodation options available depending upon your budget, like hotels, resorts and guest houses, starting from price of 3000 rupees. For a budget travel, you can stay in guest houses, but if you desire for luxury, stay in a resort on a private island. Let me take you through the top 5 budget-friendly resorts in Maldives. Number 1. Inuhara Maldives Resort It is a 40-minute seaplane ride from the International Airport. Your beach bungalows are available at a starting price of around 6,000 rupees. Number 2. Filitheo Island Resort It is around 120 km from the Mali Airport and a 35-minute seaplane ride. Your beach and water villas are available at a starting price of around 6,000 rupees. Number 3. Medufushi Island Resort It is a 40-minute seaplane journey from Mali Airport. Your beach and water villas are available at a starting price of around 6,000 rupees. Number 4. Preethi Beach Resort It is a 35-minute seaplane ride from Mali Airport and offers beach and water villas starting from 6,500 rupees. Number 5. Puredu Island Resort and Spa It is again a 35-minute seaplane journey from Male Airport. Here there are garden villas, beach villas, water villas, private pool villas and suites starting at a price of around 7,000 rupees. It also has an under-the-sea restaurant. All these resorts, the staff also speaks Hindi. The resorts offer activities such as snorkeling, sailing, sunset cruises, windsurfing and canoeing. There are in-house dining outlets which include beach bars and restaurants and private dining. Relax at the outdoor pool or spa during your stay. Stay in rustic villas with lagoon views and private sun decks. Instead of booking your entire stay in a resort which can be costly, you can opt for stay in hotels or guest houses and go for a day excursion to an exclusive resort and for this you can follow my 5 day 4 night itinerary. So let's start. Day 1. Hulumale After your arrival at Maldives, the first day should be spent at Hulumale Island. Book your stay here and some of the options are Coconut Tree, Hulu Villa Beach, Vista Beach Retreat and Coral Grand Beach and Spa. This is one of the islands that can also be visited by road. Two wheelers are quite common here and you can rent one to explore Hulumale. The island has a beautiful beach that you can explore at your own leisure. Day 2 Hulumale to Male to Mafushi You have to go to the Hulumale port to board a local boat for Male city. The local boats at Hulumale depart every 30 minutes. Explore Mali and visit the largest mosque there. Then visit the Vilinjali ferry terminal for onward journey towards Mafushi. Arrive at Vilinjali port with some time in hand as the Vilinjali beach is within walking distance from the port. Take the 3 pm boat that leaves towards Mafushi. It takes around 2 hours to reach Mafushi and while on the way, enjoy the awesome views. I recommend you all to stay in Mafushi for 3 nights. There are a number of accommodation options here to choose from. 
Some of the best reviewed hotels in Mafushi are Kani Beach Hotel, Arena Beach Hotel, Mamadi Boutique Hotel. Day 3 Exploring Mafushi. There are four main beaches Public Beach, Bikini Beach, Water Sports Beach, and Coral Beach. Bikini Beach is the only beach here where you can roam around in swimwear. Bikini Beach is usually quite crowded. There are two public beaches and they are usually quieter and less crowded. Enjoy the various water activities by opting a half day excursion. There are many activities that can be done in Maldives. Water activities, snorkeling and diving. Maldives is a heaven for underwater marine life. You can book snorkeling and diving tours at the local diving centers to explore the aquatic life here. Mabilathu, Banana Reef, Willivaru Corner, Mafushi Corner are the main snorkeling points. Scuba diving at Maldives is an unforgettable experience. There are three diving centers at Mafushi and it costs $35 per dive. Among other water sports, you can enjoy parasailing, jet ski or embark on a fascinating kayak trip. Sandbank Visit the sandbank in the midst of crystalline turquoise water. Enjoy sitting in the pristine white sand while enjoying the gorgeous views of the sea. Dolphin Ride Indulge in this amazing dolphin watching tour and get a chance to witness one of the most intelligent and beautiful creatures in the ocean. In Mafushi, a half day tour including snorkeling, dolphin watching and picnic lunch in sandbank can be done for 4 to 5 hours at $60 each. Check the link in the description box for online booking. On day 4, book day excursion to a luxury resort at $100 to $200 which includes to and fro travel, unlimited beverages, buffet lunch and fish feeding in the evening. Day 5, Mafushi to Mali and depart from Mali. Take the 7.30 am boat that leaves towards Mali. After you arrive at Mali from Mafushi, keep the day to explore this crowded capital. You can visit the Sultan's Park, the President's Palace, Muli Agi and the National Museum. If you have not visited the mosque on day 2, it is the time to visit it now. In Mali, you can go for a Maldivian food tour with local market visit. Food walks in the Maldives are all about local produce, fresh catch and intense flavours. Walk through Mali City's fruit and vegetable markets and choose from exotic tropical options. Then pick some aromatic condiments at the spice market. Food in Maldives revolves around seafood and some of the most prominent ingredients here are tuna fish, coconut, curry leaves and lime. Try Maldivian deserts like Phoni Bukiba, Phoni Kaja and Dhonekyo Kajuru. If you're a vegetarian, no need to worry. There are many vegan restaurants such as Tanduri Flames, Bombay Darbar and Pizza Mia. So now let's sum up how much is the approx cost of this itinerary. Flight from India is 40,000 rupees round trip. Stay in guest houses or hotels is 25,000 rupees stay for two people. Food, if breakfast is included with your stay, then it will be 10,000 rupees. Activities, 17,000 rupees. Covid test is 80 dollars in Maldives, plus test cost at your home country. Inter-island travel in public ferry will be 1000 rupees. Cost for the entire trip will be 1 lakh rupees or around 1400 dollars per person. Now coming to Covid rules. You should hold a negative RT-PCR result for Covid-19 prior to entry into Maldives including those who have completed the prescribed doses of COVID-19 vaccines and recovered from COVID-19. The sample for PCR test must be taken at most 72 hours before departure. For latest updates on COVID regulations, visit the link in the description box. I hope you guys have got an idea of how to plan your tour to Maldives. Do share your travel experience in the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you.